Video Productions. What's up, guys? Uh, welcome to another episode. Um, so today, I got another EDC item for you guys. This is one I've been looking forward to. I've checked out this uh, Instagram page for a long time. Uh, it is the Tale of Knives. Uh, I think it's a tuxedo. Hold on, I got the name of it right here. Yeah, it's the Tuxedo Multi-Tool. I got left side carry. Uh, I'm about to do an unboxing real quick. The reason I got left side carry is I really, I, mean, I carry with my right side. So I wanted, I didn't want everything on my right side. So I'm going to go ahead and unbox this and then probably do a little mini review. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so let's go ahead and open this. You guys don't need to know where I live. So I'm not going to show the box on here. Oh, not or the package that it came in. Open this up. Got this, got this too. The old lady got me this. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Put that together one day. Doubt anybody wants to see a video of that, but hey, it's there. All right. Break in your gear. Steps. Leave your tools in it overnight to help ease the process. Allow a couple of weeks of use for full break in. Use your gear. Care. Use your favorite leather conditioner. Condition as needed. I don't know why I'm talking like that. All right, Tale of Knives. Our family business appreciates your support. Jeremy and Megs. Thank you, Jeremy and Megs. And this is the box that comes in. Right, show. I don't know if that focused, but you guys could figure it out. And these are the contents that's in it. Got you a little, a little sticker that's going to go in the uh, EDC toolbox. I'll show you guys my little toolbox I use for my some of my stuff I carry every day. Alright. And it comes in this little like burlap sack. Oh man, I'm getting this crap everywhere. Alright, burlap sack. Check. And, oh, I'm going to do that slow. I'm gonna do that slow for you guys. Get this camera to focus on it. And oh yeah. Alright man, that feels nice. I'm not sponsored by this guy or this company in any way. I've just um eyed their Instagram for a really long time. And this stuff looked cool. It's got this the little little keychain thing for my keys because I, I use a carabiner currently so we'll go ahead and give that a try and then this is the uh, let's see if you can see that come on I'm staring at the thing to see if it'll focus it's got this is the tuxedo this one little opening how it opens right here for your pen that's the I think that's what that's called right the t-tux option yeah that's the T-Tux option is having this little thing there. I think that's for like a bigger pin. Can't remember now. It's been, I think the time it took to get it was like six weeks because it's made to order. All right, so I'm going to go and put some, put my Leatherman in there and uh, see how it goes. And in the meantime, you know what? I'll just show you guys, show you guys the EDC toolbox. I'm not going to make a whole video of it because no one cares, but I'll show you just for you guys. I'll show you. Hang on. All right, Tail of Knives sticker is officially going in the toolbox. Ah, oh, there you go. All right, so this is it. Uh, this is just an old craftsman. The old Sears now out of business. Uh, this is a rally box. This is like an old toolbox I got to go to Lincoln Tech like 10 years ago. All right, that is the Olight, uh, what is it, the S2? Yeah, S2 baton, that's what I got for it. That's the light that I got for it. And then uh, some other stuff. I am a distinguished ruffian. I got the bench made in there. Uh, G-Shock, got some stuff missing out of here. This is the Leatherman. Uh, that's the charge plus that's the case it came in I got that for there so let's go ahead and get that out and if you guys care to see some of this other stuff it's just some knives uh, wallets some more gators 
Since we have to have our gators, the store is empty for some reason now. And there's some cigar stuff I got in there. And that's basically all that is. All right, let's get back to this. All right, so I'm recording this again. This whole part I'm about to tell you now, I'm recording it again because I put my phone next to my camera and I, I listen to the videos, all that interference crap. So now my phone's way over here, so there shouldn't be any interference. So, as I was saying, that is a Leatherman. That is the light. You can't see it, but I can see it. They're right here. You have to. You know, I just have to take my word for it. Okay. So steps. What it says. Reading the steps. Leave your tools in it overnight to help ease the process. That's what we're doing right now. We're easing the process. We're not going to complete the process. We're just easing our way along. Then allow a couple of weeks of full use to break it in. So obviously, I'm not going to wait a few weeks to finish this video, but I will probably wait a week. Well, probably not a week. Today's Tuesday, I'll probably do this on Saturday, so you'll probably get like three or four, maybe five days. I might do it on Sunday, who knows? But what we're gonna do, we're gonna put the light in and we're gonna put the Leatherman in and see how it goes. This is what it looks like before, very flat. See, this is before when you first get it. Okay, we're gonna put the light in. I already just did this. So now I'm just doing it again. It's that damn interference. I don't know what it's interfering with. I don't know if it's the camera or if it's this mic. I think it's this mic because I've filmed with this camera before. My phone near it and I've never heard interference before. Uh, but now that I have this mic on, I'm hearing interference, which is really weird. It's unusual. So I'm thinking it has something to do with the mic. Okay, so now we have the light in. Sorry, camera cut. We have the light in. All right, this is what it looks like with the light in. Yeah, this is what you expected. All right, now we're gonna put the leather in. Now, Jeremy did, uh, I was messaging him on Instagram before I bought this. He did say the Charge Plus is gonna be a super tight fit for this. That's what she said. <laughs> and I didn't just do this five minutes ago, so I really, I, I don't know. Just have to take his word for it. Uh oh. Yeah, no, it's definitely a tight fit. I'm really hoping that letting this sit overnight, it's gonna loosen this up a little bit. <laughs> all right, so I'm not gonna push it all the way because I feel like going too far might put some strain on uh, on this a little bit. So I'm just gonna push it in that far. It's not quite all the way, but we'll see how it does. I don't have a pen. Uh, I don't have a tactical pin right now. I did had the atomic bear. I think it was like the last one I had And I have no idea where it is. So uh, we're going pinless and uh, Leatherman Okay, see that there um, It's a little bit Uneven looking now, but who knows that might that might change nothing's falling For sure for sure nothing's falling and uh, Yeah so that's it right now. All right, so we're gonna let this um, break in overnight, see what it's like. Probably wear that to work, and it'll get some sweat and grime and blood, sweat, and tears in it, and uh, see what happens with it. And uh, I'll finish this video this weekend and just kind of let you see where it's at, what it's done, what, how much it's broken, how much it helps and all that other fun stuff. So I will see you guys right now. Oh, and uh, of course I should read this. I don't know why I didn't before. I'm gonna hold the phone over here. So hopefully this won't get some interference. That stuff's really annoying. <clears throat> okay, so sizing. Belt loop sizing is for standard one and a half inch wide belt. Multi-tool push-up. Known to fit Leatherman Free P2 or P4 Wave Plus Signal Rebar or Spider Co Par 3 Charge TTI requires extra break in time. Um, flashlight known to fit up to 0.91 inch diameter flashlight, a Phoenix PD25 or Olight S2 Orbiton 2 Orbiton Pro Keepster. That's this little thing. It's a Keepster because it's going to Keepster your keys. It's going to Keepster them. Keepster them right there. Fits normal size key rings. Pen fits Fisher Space Bullet Pen and similar diameter length pins 
Bigi Design, Pocket Pro, and Kawako Lilliput. Sorry, I don't know these. Uh, I'm not I'm not really into the pen things, you know. I like my Atomic Bear thing. It was like 10 bucks. Lasts forever, unless you lose it. Uh, from the maker. 100% handmade, hand cut, hand dyed, and hand stitched. The reason I'm not reading to you, I'm reading over here, because I don't want to put the phone near my camera. So here, inter interference. Do, 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 do. Well, I'm pretty sure it's doing it. I can't hear it, but I'm pretty sure it's doing it. All right. Quality leather. Full grain American tanned cow hides create a unique patina in time. Hand dyed, giving each and every item a unique appeal full of character. Tiger thread, known for its strength and durability. Handcrafted leather gear made using traditional methods from a family owned and crafted small business. I will admit this thing feels awesome though i have some really nice holsters some gun holsters and i have you know i mean like i grew up with horses i had all kinds of stuff made of leather this stuff feels really good i like it i mean it's stiff as hell right now though so but that's to be expected it has to be broken in so we're gonna let it break it in and now i'll see you now okay everybody we are back it is now the following Saturday so I started filming this video last Tuesday so it's actually been a week and a half so you can kind of get a halfway decent um, idea of what uh, the two-week break-in period is I uh, here it is uh, as you can probably see it's uh, let's see if it's focusing on it right there uh, it's probably changed color a little bit um, I did use some leather cleaner and conditioner um, just out of preference, I just wanted to do it. I don't think it's really gonna make a huge difference in the break-in break -in period, although it might, um, as you can tell now. Uh, I mean, it does kinda, it's still pretty tight, but it is actually kinda moving a little bit. The, the, I feel like the, the weird thing is, I was more concerned about the Leatherman being tighter than the light, that the light would be a lot easier, but the Leatherman, um, I think is well, it's not doing it well in this video Probably because it's I'm kind of compressing it with my other hand, but um The little one actually kind of goes in and out a lot easier Now than it did uh, definitely Nothing's gonna drop though. So one thing I want to show you guys because it says it fits any one and a half inch belts This is a uh, white knuckler belt if any of you guys know it that brand white knuckler, uh, I recommend them. They are pretty cool. I have one of their knives. It was in the little toolbox. Uh, this is like the fit right there. I, mean, I don't know if it's going to focus, but I mean, pretty, pretty much perfect fit for a belt. There's not really any play. So that's like a perfect fit for that belt. It's the only belt I've tried with it but it is working perfect um and yeah i mean all the stitching is still great everything is i mean like i still have a pin for the thing as you can see but i love the way this fits because there are a lot of times and i'm not just bsing here that i have this on during the day at work and i completely forget it's even there it's not i have a lot of gun holsters that you always know they're there all damn day you're you can feel them but not all of them some are pretty good uh but um yeah, this thing fits like, I don't want to say something corny, say it fits like a glove, but I guess it's just the way it curves, you know, I can't really see the little curve. I, that, I mean, just sitting on your hip, I mean, it just fits perfectly on it. So, I really dig it. Um, yeah, so, uh, not much, a whole lot more to say than that. Uh, it's pretty much exactly what it says it is, high quality material, one of my favorite EDC tools that I have because uh, it holds my keys, my Leatherman, and my lights. And other than that, it's just phone and a knife. And a Leatherman has a knife. So if you don't have a knife and your Leatherman is your knife, that's one less thing you got to worry about. So this is a great investment. I highly recommend it. Uh, yeah, that's going right there in the toolbox. And yeah, so that will... Uh, oh, stickers falling off. That will conclude this video. I appreciate you guys watching. And uh, yeah, so my review is uh, I greatly recommend it. It's pretty cool. So until next time, guys.